we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Mind my asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say, not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet, discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. <sighs> Been a damned long while, old friend. Let's see what we got here. Fenders and trunk eaten away by rust. Rest of the body's still holding up. Wonder what's under the hood. It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. New coil, plugs. Mm, and somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Someone cleaned the cooling fan and filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh. With water. <laughs> New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Alright, seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! This... N what? No, no, it's my car! No, why would you leave it... Rusting in a yard. Not your biz. Not my biz? This last week I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heap running. Should have started with a step motor, would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy, starts sticking. We we'll clear the carbon deposits and. It starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, see? It takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Car's mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on, try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. I don't want to live here. Not now. I'll buy this car off you. Pay you enough so you can get another. But it. it's a wreck. Mm hmm. My damn wreck. Come on. Take the cash before I change my mind. Jeez. Thanks. I'm not sure what to say. So, give it a think while I take this baby for a ride. Clockwork. Well, definitely no guy or girl magnet, but seems healthy under the hood. Don't know the half of it. Wait till I open her up. Not afraid you might. Ah, what can it hurt? I'm dead anyway. Floor it, V.
V, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. Sticky? Wow, you're really selling this, Waco. Job like any other. Just the clients will demanding. Clients got every right to be demanding. What makes this one any different? Wants everything to go exactly as planned. Willing to break the bank for it, too. Job like this needs your magic touch, V. Anyone less experienced it, just fuck it up. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now I'm sure it's a turd in crepe paper. So, what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. V? So you, you want hear me? to murder someone? Cut. Wait. This isn't the Dalai Lama. Must have gotten the wrong number. You didn't arrive in this pond yesterday, V. You know how the fish gets sliced. The perp been proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What'd he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh? In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Oh, fuck a dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half-gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. The Bartmoss? Data crash rabid Bartmoss? Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah, yeah, him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Wow, wow. An SGI Tech Elisla. Best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the afterlife goes by Nyx. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up, see what happens. Could end up pulling something from it.
Hey, 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 come here, let's talk. Sure, but, uh, tongue's feeling a bit stiff. Toss one back first. With you, anytime. Ever need help with something? Just give me a holler. Let's not get too cocky, all right? You did Regina and I both a favor. It's not like we're about to forget that anytime soon. The life of a merc's got its ups and downs. Next time it'll be me pulling you out of some colossal fuck up. So long as I got the eddies on me. Am I right? <laughs> Ain't wrong. How's the arm holding up? Ah, oh, V, such a tender soul you are. Come on, Tiny. Being serious. Well, after paying you and Regina your due, I still had Eddie's in the bank for this bad boy. So yeah, I'd say the arm's fine. Listen, from one netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bartmoss era. Reach Bartmoss. The Bartmoss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows. But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you. What's it like, working for Rogue? It's fine. That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man when looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile, while that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? 
Hmm. Tech's coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on a mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk? A, a data crash-like thing, or rabbits? Because if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bardma should have done better. Cat shit, rat shit. Ideas, V. Fast and stack. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. Okay, what do we got here? Saw what we got. A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So, I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say... You reach Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? Damn straight. I'm the best net runner in town, after all. Out it, kid. But maybe someday. Alright. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Hmm. Potentially interesting. Nothing explosive. Ah, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man.
Hey, come in. Hey, hey, hey. We're not done here. Got somewhere else to be.
Hey, V, come here. A little hey, closer Mitch. now. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Mm hmm. Name was Jackie. Uh huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay. I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. And? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? You've been in the city a while, haven't you? You want to know everything now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Now, I don't know how it was in your clan. But in the Aldecaldos, everything stays in the family. Used to be Scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Ah, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. Mm-hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little Girl Scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. We're heading for the collapsed bridge. 
Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. Here we are. Go ahead, kill the engine. Holy shit! Mitch, what the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Saul won't like this. Blasting a good car? Terrible waste. I'll tell him it was an accident. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. See the drivers already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? You absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. With or without you. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick! Before she blows! Road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. He a Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> uh, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch. Why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen. There's a... a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. What is it? Not a clue. 
Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right.